Since we've already covered two-dimensional GUIs and heads-up displays, it might be a lot more interesting for us to actually look at building a main menu in three-dimensional space. So to do this, we basically need another scene. So far in this course, we've been working in the same scene, but now let's create a new one. So go to File and then hit New Scene, and let's save it from the start into our Scenes folder and call it Main Menu. All right, double check if it's in there, and we have a new open scene, and it has reset everything in our scene because there's nothing right now in there. So let's start filling it up with a uh, a base floor and a wall, and on this wall we will add our text for our 3D main menu. So to start building our main menu, let's start off with a cube. Go to Game Object, Create Other, and start cube for the base floor. Type a scale of 20 for the X and 20 for the Z. That will do the trick just fine. And now let's add the wall that we will put our text on. So go game object, create other, and then another cube. Let's look at this from the X axis and then move it. Let's scale it to also 20 on the X and then 10 for the Y. And then let's move it up a little bit with our move tool back into 3D space and this would be our main menu view. Now let's rename these and call the floor floor and of course the wall wall. Now right now let's position our main camera so that it actually looks like we're looking at a menu. So to do this I'm going to drag my game view out and position it here on the bottom so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to rotate my camera around and then move it in global space and then move it upwards a little bit so that we can see the wall. Now this isn't very exciting or spectacular yet so let's add ourselves a little light here. Uh, when I go back to the scene view, zoom in a little bit, go to game object, create other and then a point light and just make sure it's not inside of the cube so move it outside a little bit Let's go to our game view to see if our camera is actually looking at the cube right. If not, then adjust your camera a little bit. You'll be tweaking this a lot over time. Now let me angle the camera downwards just a little bit. Move it some more. And that will do the trick. Perfect. Okay, now that we have that, let's start adding our 3D text. And to do this, we will use our same font in a second. So go to Game Object, Create Other, and then our 3D text. And this will add some text into the world as you can see here. Right now it is rotated to face backwards. So let's use our rotate tool to rotate it around. And then to make it a nice rotation, let's type 170 and then move it into place of our wall. Okay, next as you can see the text is pretty blurry and we don't want it to say hello world so let's move on and change our text and make it actually work for our menu in the next video.